Hi, welcome back to Desired Foods. Today we are making Indian onion bhajis. So we're just going to get started making the mixture so I'm putting a cup of gram flour into a mixing bowl and I'm just going to whisk through any lumps and then I am going to add some salt into this mixture and then mix that through and then add a teaspoon and a half of paprika to the mixture. Combined all together and then we're slowly gonna add some water to the mixture. The consistency that we are looking for is a pancake consistency. So we don't want it too thick and we don't want it too runny. As you can see the batter has come together and it's not too thick it's just a nice consistency so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to set this aside while we get our other ingredients prepared so you're going to start to cut up some white onions I'm using two medium to large size onions here and you're just going to cut them into strips Once your onions are cut, you're just going to add these onions to your gram flour mixture. As you can see here, I'm just separating the onions and adding them to the bowl. Now you're going to grab some fresh coriander and chop that up and then we're going to add this to the mixture also. Now you're going to give that a little mix. So just mix up all the mixture so all your onions and coriander is fully coated. Normally I add green chilies to this but because the kids are eating this I'm leaving the chili out but by all means you can add chili to this. So you'll just cut up one to two fresh green chilies. So I'm just adding a bit more salt and then I've heated some hot oil into a frying pan. I am just using vegetable oil here. And I'm just spooning some of the mixture into the frying pan. So as you just spoon in the mixture, what you are going to do, you're going to leave it for about a minute before you turn them over. So now that a minute is almost coming up, I'm just going to turn them over. And then as you turn them over, you just want to flatten them down a tiny bit with the fork. And then I'm going to cook them for a further minute. So now that the minute is up, what I would do, I will keep on turning them continuously now till they are golden brown. So as the next minute is up, I'm just turning them and now that you can see they are turning to that nice golden brown colour. And once they are golden brown, all you're going to do is drain them on some kitchen towel. So 
so as you can see they are nice and golden and crispy so i'm just going to take them out now and put them on some kitchen paper and then i'm going to continue to do the rest till my batter is fully finished now this was something i learned from my mum this is my mum's recipe so whenever anybody used to just pop into the house my mum will be in the kitchen whipping these up because they're just so quick and easy and you just need a few ingredients to have a nice little snack So as you can see, I'm just continuing to fry these till they're nice and golden. So this is my version of my Indian onion budges. Now, if you want to see my aubergine version of this, then if you click on the link below in the description box, it will take you straight to that video. So you can check out that recipe also. So that is my onion barges. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.